Hey guys, it's Alex Haney here. I'm out on Devil's Lake in the Q2 Wildlands and I have had one hell of a bad nightmare experience these past two days. Um, I've been hoping to spend two nights out here again this weekend by myself canoeing for the first time this season and yesterday I drove up here in the afternoon and like I knew there was a chance because I was coming here in the afternoon that it would be windy but I thought maybe you know I'd have a chance to uh, wait it out and start canoeing a bit later so I waited like six hours in my car until I realized there's no way I'm gonna be able to make it even to even my first campsite option today so I was I was trying to access the wildlands from the south side because uh, I, when I was looking at the map, I, I really didn't want to do the same route with the Devil's Lake access that I hiked last weekend. I really don't like the route from Devil's Lake to Victoria Lake because it's not a lot of paddling, it's just a lot of portaging and also last weekend Victoria Lake was really windy. Anyway, so I was trying to access it via Head Lake, which is a huge, huge lake. And you basically have to access it from the southernmost part and then go up to the north part. So I needed a good solid chunk of paddling time to reach the river that I was trying to get to. Long story short, I slept in my car last night hoping, you know, I'll be able to get up early this morning and get an early start before it's super windy. So I set my alarm for 5.30 and with all my luck, my phone got too cold and never went off. So I woke up at uh, 7 o'clock, I think, and because I slept horribly in my car. I rushed. I didn't have any coffee or breakfast or anything. So after waiting all that time, I thought, okay, there's no way, like, I should probably not access the park from... Sorry, it's really shallow here. Let me just pop out of my canoe and I'll go for you guys. Anyway, because of that experience, I decided it would be best not to access the park from that lake. I decided, you know, I'm just going to study the map and see what my other options are. And I was so excited because I found this access I'd never noticed before. I was so excited. I drove up there and parked at the Devil's Lake parking lot and decided tomorrow I'm going to go and find this access. Slept in my car, had a really shitty sleep. Just got behind the wheel, drove to the access, and I looked and looked for this access that this guy had written on this map from or explorethebackcountry.com. And eventually I found the spot and it said no parking, no camping, you know, all this stuff. So that was a huge disappointment as well. The only other option left was to go in Devil's Lake. So I was like, well, I'm going to try to stay positive and optimistic here. So I loaded everything back up on my car again and drove over to Devil's Lake, threw everything in my canoe again. As soon as I was out of like the shallow inlet part, it was clear like I I couldn't handle it. I could not keep my bow pointed into the wind. It was just too strong. I'm not a strong enough solo paddler at the moment to tackle that. And I tried, like I really tried. I was like straddling this line between, should I just keep pushing myself or should I throw in the towel and say, you know what, like this is not my weekend. I turned, I decided to turn around and <sighs> after all that waiting yesterday and sleeping in my car and waiting months and months to try out this new canoe, like I got to make the three hour drive home, haven't been able to camp at all. I try to stay positive, you know, like at least I got to paddle a little bit, at least I got my canoe on the water a bit. 
Uh, at least I got up here, you know, out of the city for a little bit, but it's just hard. Just hard. These are the times when I'm like, damn it, I, I hate, I hate canoeing. I only like hiking, because if I've been hiking, I could have been, I could have been way deep into the bush by now. Like, I could have hiked all yesterday, all today, without having to deal with this. But at the same time, like, I know as soon as I get some nice calm water, like I had a moment this morning before all this wind started kicking up again, where it was just so nice and glassy calm and just the rhythm of the paddling and the water it was so awesome and I just want that. I just want that.